Hi guys, Jessica Beck here with All Ears English. In this episode, you are going to hear Lindsay and Michelle explain the term fair weather friend. This is a very native idiomatic expression, guys. Interesting language like this helps you connect with other people. And you're also going to get extra adjectives to describe good and bad friends. So listen up and take notes. And remember, you can get free resources we made just for your level if you take our short free quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com slash fluency score. All right, listen up. This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 1268. Are you a fair weather friend? Welcome to the All Ears English Podcast, downloaded more than 130 million times. We believe in connection, not perfection, with your American host, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Los Angeles and New York City, USA. And to take your learning deeper with real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice, download our app on your iOS device. Go to allearsenglish.com slash bonuses. What is a fair weather friend? How can you use this term? Today, let's reflect on our friendships and what kinds of friends we are. Hey, Lindsay, how's it going? Hey, Michelle, it's going great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, um, I am excited because next, is it next weekend? I'm getting to see two of my best friends. So Ooh. that is exciting. They're my friends from like when I was real little. I think I've talked about them before, but yeah. that's going to be fun. Um, are you hanging out with any friends soon? Yeah, I, I hope to hang out with some friends while I'm back in Boston. For sure. I'll be in Boston this week for, you know, for Thanksgiving. And I want to I want to meet up with some friends for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have a best friend? Well, I had a best friend when I was in like middle school and high school. And so I guess I mean, I don't know if we're best friends now. I feel like the term has kind of changed. Yeah. The term best friend yeah. has kind of evolved for me over the years. Um, but she's a very good friend and a longtime friend for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely agree that like the term the friendship can evolve over time and like as you get a little bit older like it, it, life changes so much and yeah it's it just it's just very different but you know hopefully you know you have those same friends that you know you mm -hmm. can kind of come back to and you know my friends I mean they've been there for me for a while like they're definitely not fair weather friends you know like they're always That's there good. That's so something. good. Oh, that's so good. I think we underestimate how important that is in terms of like our mental health and our physical yeah. health. When we feel taken care of in the world and also having, what's that famous quote? Like you can't make a new old friend or something. You get like oh, something like, yeah. I don't know what it is and I don't know who said it. I think it's, it's <laughs> I, I don't know, but it goes way back and something like you, obviously like new friends, you can never have that same history with them. So it's good to hold on to old friends. Yeah, like people that it's like almost like a sibling in a way, right? If they've known mm -hmm. you for that long, like they, yeah. you know, somebody who like knows your family and exactly. you know knows a lot about your past, and you have you you know a lot of the same people. It's just nice to have that, and it's nice to make new friends too. Yeah, I agree, Michelle. You need a balance of both. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay. I mean, have you ever had any fair weather friends? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't think so because it, you know I don't luckily. I've had some friendships that have kind of fizzled out. I would say yeah. that. But I don't know if it's because they were fair weather friends. That's a specific mm -hmm. kind of friend. It's just because for whatever reason, we weren't a good connection. And neither both of us decided not to continue the friendship. So... Yeah, 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 that can be tough. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. But, re you know, recently I heard this being used like a fair weather friend. And I think it's an important one that we can share with our listeners. Um, mm -hmm. I think it gives us a good perspective and it kind of makes us also check in on ourselves and think about how we behave as friends and people in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. We have to hold ourselves to a high standard to keep our friends. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what does it mean? I, well, first of all, I want to remind our listeners, guys, to get the vocabulary and the transcripts from today. You want to go get the app, right? AllEarsEnglish.com slash bonuses. And Michelle, what else can they get inside the iOS app? What else is in there? 
Okay, well, vocabulary, right? Yes, yes. Yes, your personalized vocab list. Guys, this is awesome. I uh, go through these and I find the best words that you are going to want to tap on and save. And then you have like a whole thing that you can like keep track of all these vocabulary words. So it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we publish four days a week, guys. So it's easy to lose track of the new words that you're learning. But when you have this app and this feature in the app, you don't have to do that. Don't have to worry about that. And Michelle hand curates these words just (laughs) for you based on what she thinks will raise your level higher. So go and get it. AllEarsEnglish.com slash bonuses. Definitely. All right. So let's get into friendship, Lindsay. What does it mean? What is so fair weather is it's kind of a, it's it's an adjective, really. Right. Um, yeah. And it means um, it, and it means committed and dependable, but really like kind of only during good times or when it's easy. <laughs> yeah. When it's easy for them. <laughs> right. right. So fair right, weather right, right. Is, is good weather. Right. Fair weather is nice weather. So that's it's right in the title. It's right in the name. Right, right, right. Yeah. So a fair weather friend, it's a friend who isn't really close to you because he or she is not there for you unless they find it easy, beneficial for them, fun, but not on your terms, on their terms. Yeah. Or maybe even worse or something that they want from you. Ooh. Right. And so they're around trying to get whether maybe it's money or it's like, I don't know, something else, a relationship with someone that you know. And then, I mean, there are other words to describe that kind of person, too. <laughs> That yeah, we could do another right. episode on, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's the uh, essence of it right there. Essentially, ah! right, it means, oh, that's a nod to a former episode, guys, if you were listening last week. Um, essentially, it means someone who's around for the good times and they they disappear for the bad times. Definitely, definitely. So how would we use this, Lindsay? What's an example? Okay. I would call sh- I would call Sherry, but she only picks up when she needs something from me. She's a fair weather friend. Ooh, Sherry. Ooh, that's bad. Sherry is not very nice. (laughs) No, I would not want to be friends with her. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, if you need something, you would not want to depend on this kind of a person, right? Like, you know, there have been times in my life where, you know, I've been going through something where I really just like needed that friend who's going to come and like be there for me when things aren't always so wonderful. And if you're only if somebody is only there for you when things are going well or when they that when they need you right that's not that's not an equal friendship and and it's important that I I think one of the things with this is we're always looking outward like oh do I have any fair weather friends but think inward am I a fair weather friend really because sometimes we want to be more self-aware about these things not any of our listeners of course none of us are fair weather friends right guys we're all perfect (laughs) but um (laughs) something to reflect on for for you know how can I be a better friend Are you taking IELTS in 2020? Did you know that we have an entire IELTS podcast called the IELTS Energy Podcast? Go and search for it and hit subscribe. Our co-host over there, Jessica Beck, was an examiner in IELTS for 14 years. So you are getting the best information that you can about IELTS. One more time, go over and subscribe to the IELTS Energy Podcast. Yeah, that's a good point, Michelle. Actually, sometimes when we don't, you know, we're having a tough time in life, we don't realize that maybe we're being that way, right? We're kind of unconscious in the way we're going through life because we're struggling with things. But we do have to keep that in mind because friendship is the only relationship where it's completely up to you. It's it's your decision whether you want to be friends with someone. With family, we can't choose. Right. Right. <laughs> that's true. And Lindsay. coworkers, we can't choose. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right, right, right. So it's a very specific kind of relationship. And you know what? Uh, this fair weather, um, there's also, you can say, a fair weather fan, right? Oh. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's <laughs> like when you only like a team or a, like a sports team or maybe like an artist, musician, something, when they're doing well, right? Um. I've yeah. been known to be a little bit of a fair weather fan, I have to admit. Oh no, Michelle, that's terrible for who? For yeah. the Knicks? <laughs> I I I've, oh, no. I've loved the Knicks. I think I put them on our Instagram. Um I've loved the Knicks <laughs> since I was a little little girl 
and I would cry when they lost. And unfortunately, they haven't been so successful. But I, I find that I don't pay attention. And then when they do well, which is unfortunately rare, but then they do do well, then I'm like, oh, I'm such a Knicks fan. And I think at my core, I am. But I'm a little bit of a Fairweather fan. We may have taught the phrase bandwagon fan, right? Don't we say bandwagon? Yeah. Um, so guys, take a look. Uh, if you want to look at other sports episodes, we may have talked about that. But yeah. Um, so like I could say something like, um, what's going on with the Knicks. I don't know. I'm a fair weather fan. <laughs> I think it's so funny that you used to cry as a kid when they lost. You were yeah, so into as it. As a kid, as an adult, whatever. Oh, wow. Uh, I, I did. I'm, no, really, I'll tell you. To the, yeah. When I was first dating Dan, they got into the playoffs, and then when they lost, I cried, and he saw. <laughs> so and he's like, who I is don't this know. woman? <laughs> who, who am I dating? <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh oh, yeah. So I do get really emotional about it, guys. That's a little known fact uh, about me and the Knicks. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I've never been that excited about any sports team, to be honest. But hey, who knows? In the future, we'll see. You never know. You know, sometimes I reveal things on this show, and then like later on, I'm like, oh god, that's embarrassing. Why? Uh, I, do? I know. <laughs> I, I get too into it, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, yeah. this is so embarrassing. Whatever, but that's, <laughs> that's <okay>. fine. Um. <laughs> But guys, today we are talking about this more in terms of friendships, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, what, Lindsay, what do you think? If people are like, hmm, I might have a fair weather friend. I mean, what, what do you think you should do with this friend? <laughs> what do you do? Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know, as their friend, the person's friend who may have a fair weather friend, you have to know what to expect from them. Yeah. Like, just kind of, kind of recalibrate your expectations a little bit, right? So maybe you don't keep them too, too close to you. Yeah. Maybe you don't depend on them so much right. and you you know they're going to come and go with the wind depending yeah. on what's going on and that has to be okay or I guess maybe you have to just say you don't want them in your life right 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 I mean maybe you're okay with with this kind of a friendship right maybe you have other friends who are the ones that you can really depend on right mm -hmm. so maybe you're kind of like oh that's a fun person if she's around or if he's around like yeah we could hang out whatever mm -hmm. um but if you realize that they're a fair weather friend and you don't want that maybe you really need someone you don't have time for fair weather friends you only have time for the real real friends you know you may want to reconsider it you may not want to rely on them yeah, I mean, there are definitely times in our life where our life will change. Like maybe when you have a baby, I don't know. Maybe you could talk yeah. about this, Michelle, where things get recalibrated yeah. and you, you yeah. have to make some tough choices. Yeah. Maybe in your 20s, you're living in New York. You can have as many friends as you want, right. right? Some of them can be fair weather. Some of them are lifelong, steady friendships. Then maybe you have a kid and get married and you say, hey, I only have a few hours a week to even talk on the phone with my friends. I'm not going to waste time with a fair weather friend. Yeah. Yeah, that that can be that can be tricky, you know, I mean, but the question is, like, do you if you realize you have a fair weather friend, should you confront them if you if you want to, you know, I mean, do you call them out on being a fair weather friend? That's the that's the tricky part. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about ghosting before on this show, uh, right? Yeah. This concept of ghosting. And I feel like with friends, it's even more common to ghost a friend because the friendship just fizzles out and neither party contacts the other. So it's gone. But sometimes it's good to be more intentional. I feel like I personally want to be a little more intentional in life. And yeah. just if I don't want to be friends with someone, just try to say it. But it's an awkward conversation, a friend breakup, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely awkward. Oh, it's so sad. So, you yeah. know, maybe guys will do a follow up on this kind of a topic, you know, what, what you should do in these situations. But, you know, yeah. just again, and like I said, you know, reflect on how you treat your friends. Are you a fair weather friend? Maybe there's something that, you know, you want to change. And, yes. you know, so that's what that's what I would think I would say about that. Yeah. Self-reflection. So important. It's so easy to look at the world. And then, but then looking back at ourselves is the hard part. <laughs> right. Right, right. Exactly. We can judge, but we have to think about ourselves. That's the only people <sighs> that we can really change. Yeah. And then are there any quick words we could teach our listeners today to come away with about friendship? Yeah, I mean, you could have loyal or disloyal, right? The opposites, right? Yep. Um, yep. What's something else, Lindsay? Well, you could have dependable or I guess you could say undependable. Is that a word? I guess that's a word. <laughs> I think it's a word, but now you're making me question myself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll look it up. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, or you can say you can or can't count on someone. That means you can like rely that they'll be there for you. Mm -hmm. And I did confirm it is a word, Michelle. Don't worry. Thank we you. are good to go. It is a word. <laughs> or what's another one, Lindsay? Or reliable or unreliable. So oh, okay. guys, these are super common words that you should already have in your vocabulary, I would yeah. say at your level. But if you don't, put them in there and start using them.
Right. And, you know, realize that sometimes we may have the words, but we may have not thought about using them in particular contexts. Yeah. Right. So now, you know, these are some words to think about. Maybe I had these words, but now I can stick them into this kind of uh, context in my conversations or, you know, just reflections. Yeah, that's great. Oh, man. So what's the takeaway for today's episode, Michelle? What should our listeners go away with? Well, we hope that you don't have any fair weather friends unless you're okay with that, right? And, you know, every friend can have a different place in your life. You know, you can know that this is the friend you go to when you want to have a, a really good time. This is a friend that you can tell all your secrets to, right? It can be different people, but it is important to have ones you can count on and, you know, reflect on your behavior as a friend and let's always strive to be better. Yeah. And I think it's also interesting. Sometimes the quality of our friendships can be determined based on where we live. You know what I mean? Mm. This, the, the cities that we live in, mm. you know, for example, I'm thinking may, maybe if we're in a city like LA, it could be harder to make those lifelong friendships because everyone's trying to get famous, right? right? They're just, they're there trying, or maybe even New York too, but that's something to think about. But definitely I'm going to take away this self-reflection today. What kind of a friend am I, right? going to think about that today. This is good, Michelle. <laughs> definitely. Okay. Well, let's all be better friends and the world will be a better place. All right. Sounds good. Anyways, have a good week. And uh, I guess tomorrow's Thanksgiving, isn't it? <gasps> That's right. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. A good time to reflect on friendships for sure. All right. That's true. Okay. okay. Lindsay, have a good one. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. If you are taking IELTS this year, get your estimated band score with our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com slash my score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time. <laughs>